Hello children. Today we are going to study construction. How to do construction? What are the things required during construction? But before starting the class, I would like to request you to like and share my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So let's start construction. So for construction, we need some instruments. But first of all, and the main thing is which we need is a geometry set case. And what are the things, what are the instruments are there inside this geometry set case? A compass. Or you can say a pair of compasses. A pair of dividers. Or simply you can say a divider. Two set squares. Now what type of set squares? Now see in this set square, the angle represented by this set square is in one side 90 degree and this way 45 degree okay and in another set square you see the angle is of 60 degree this way and this way 30 degree a protector and a ruler okay so these are the instruments we need for construction children in the compass your pencil should be fitted in this manner now you can observe the needle is in a lower position and pencil lead is in a upper position in this way your pencil should be fitted in the compass children first of all let's draw a line segment so for drawing a line segment first we need a point okay and then suppose i have to draw a line segment of six centimeter so i have a, a graduated scale but i will follow inches so I am drawing a line segment of 6 inches so my 6 inches is here this is the line segment of 6 inches ok now the thing is that a line segment has two end points we all know and we will represent the line segment as A B ok now children let's construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. So here is a given line segment AB and I am going to construct a perpendicular bisector of this line. So for this I have to take one center. So I have taken center A and radius more than half of AB. So this is my radius I have taken and here I have made one arc at upward side and in lower side also I have made one arc now without moving my compass with the same radius now I have taken the center B and I am going to cut these arcs ok I have cut this arc in this manner now let these arcs intersect each other at P and Q now let's join P and Q. Now I am joining this P and Q. And here comes the perpendicular bisector. Now let me check it whether it is perpendicular or not. That means whether these angles are 90 degree or not. Children see it is observed that the angle is of 90 degree. Okay. So our construction is perfect. We have found the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. Let's draw the bisector of a given angle. So our angle is AOB and first of all we will take O as a center and a convenient radius. Any radius you can take. So I have taken one convenient radius and I have drawn an arc which intersects AO at P and B O at Q. Now taking center Q, I have drawn an arc in this way and with the same radius I have taken the center P and drawn another arc to cut the previous arc at suppose R. Now I am going to join this line means these points O and R and this is the required bisector 
दैट मीन्स एंगल ए ओ आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल आर ओ बी अंडस्टो चिल्ड्रेन लेट इज कंस्ट्रक्ट अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन फ्रॉम बी टू द हाइपोटेन्यूस दिस इज अटेगल ट्राइंगल ओके एंड दिस इज द हाइपोटेन्यूस सो लेट इज कंस्ट्रक्ट अ परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम बी टू द हाइपोटेन्यूस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल कंस्ट्रक्ट एन आर्क टेकिंग सेंटर बी एंड अ कन्वीनियंट रेडियस टू कट द हाइपोटेन्यूस एट टू पॉइंट इन दिस मैनर so this hypotenuse is inter intersected by the arc at two point x and y now we will construct the perpendicular bisector of xy in this manner two arcs i have drawn taking center y and again with the same radius taking center x will cut these arcs at two points Let the two points be M and N. Now we join these two points M and N. And see, children, this line, perpendicular line, crosses M at B. Okay, that means this line is from B, from ninety degree point. Okay, and it is the perpendicular. or at the hypotenuse okay that means we have constructed a perpendicular from the point b to the hypotenuse ac and let it be d so we can write ab sorry bd is perpendicular on ac so children today we have learned how to construct perpendicular bisectors of a line segment bisector of a given angle and perpendicular from a point 90 degree angle to the hypotenuse of a right triangle so children with this i am ending today's session in another session i will bring to you some more educational videos also don't forget to watch my videos on construction link is given in the descriptions thank you for watching today's